Hello everyone. Okay, let us solve this problem, which is not an easy problem, but it's not complex either. So the complexity level is somewhere in between. So we are asked to find the area of the short shaded portion in the figure, and the value of pi is given to us, which is 22 by 7. So we have to find this area, which is the shaded, and we are given with the options. Okay. Now what we realize is that first we have a triangle. This is our triangle which is unshaded. First let us find the area of this triangle. Now the area of the triangle we know is half base multiplied by height. The base is 14, the height is also 14. So we have 1 by 2 multiplied by 14 multiplied by 14. Which comes out to be because 14 multiplied by 14 is 196. This is 196 divided by 2 which comes out to be 98 centimeter square. So area of this unshaded region is 98 centimeter square. Now the next we need to realize that we have a sector over here. If you look at our here, if we include this shaded region as well, we are going to have the sector of a circle. Here this is 14 centimeter. This is also 14 centimeter. And what we realize is that this is actually 1 by 4 of a circle. So if we combine this over here, we are going to have half of the circle or semicircle. And then if we take two more parts, we are going to get the whole circle. So this is actually 1 by 4 of the circle. Now we know that area of a circle is pi r square. And here the radius is 14 centimeter. Now the area of the circle is 4 pi r square and this is 1 by 4 of the circle. So this area will be 1 by 4 pi r square. This whole area including the unshaded region and the shaded region will be 1 by 4 pi r square. Which will be equal to 1 by 4 multiplied by 22 by 7 multiplied by the square of 14. And the square of 14 is 196. So let me solve it over here. This is 1 by 4 multiplied by 22 by 7 multiply by 196 okay now let us simplify this 196 divided by 7 is 28 so this is 28 and then we have four sevens are 28 so we are going to have 22 multiply by 7 which comes out to be 154 so 22 multiply by 7 is 154 and we have 1 at the denominator and 154 divided by 1 is 154. So this whole area is 154 centimeter square. Now the area of this triangle is 98 centimeter square and this whole area is 154 centimeter square. Now we need to find the area of the shaded region. So the area of the shaded region is going to be the area of sector. And this sector is this whole thing whose area is 154. Minus the area of this triangle. So area of sector multiplied by area of triangle minus the area of triangle and area of sector is 154 area of triangle is 98 this comes out to be 56 centimeter square so that's why e option is correct so first of all we found the area of triangle which is 98 centimeter square then we find the whole area of this sector which comes out to be 154 centimeter square now to find the area of this, this comes out to be 56 cm square. So the shaded region is 56 cm square and the unshaded region is 98 cm square. Now there are also many other ways to do. For example, you can say that we get this, we can also get this 1 by 4 by realizing that this angle is 90 degree and whole area, whole angle of the circle is 360 degree. So we can also solve this by saying that 90 multiplied by 360 multiplied by pi r square which also comes out to be 1 by 4 that's why I have written 1 by 4 over here but if you visualize this this is equal actually 1 by 4 of the circle so if we combine these four uh, sectors we are going to get the four circles so that's why the area of one sector is 1 by 4 pi r square thank you if you like this video please subscribe